Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last Kindred deck today. We got another control deck. This one's going to be with Bilgewater and with Go Hard and with a lot more card draw. So that's going to be interesting. Y'all know um, this Go Hard deck if you've been playing for a while. Um, you know, Twisted Fate, Elise, Go Hard was a very popular deck back in the day. We're now going to be trying that same kind of strat, but with Kindred instead of um, Elise. Because now we have like Fading Icon that could kind of take the Kindred spot for us. Um, this specific list was a viewer submitted deck, so this was a, a donation deck um, to try out. And we have we have some more spells than normal and our curves a little higher than normal. But that could give us more power with having more expensive cards. Um, you can see we have Stalking Shadows and Black Spear also in here in the, the spell parts that cost three or less. So Sprayfin has a lot of targets. It's not going to always just be Sprayfin drawing Go Hard all the time. You know, it has Glimpse Beyond, Stalking Shadows, and Black Spear as all targets. Then we also have a couple of Spirit Leashes to continue in that card draw. But, so we have lots of fours with that. Um, at the top end, we also have Commander Ledros. Help us finish out games. I guess I have Prismatic Commander Ledros. I didn't realize that. Um, but then, you know, we kind of have, besides that, just the, the rest of the deck. So it's it's basically kind of like a, a go-wide deck where you're just trying... It's kind of like Thresh Nasus, like where you're, you're, you have a lot of cheap units that can go wide, but that's not necessarily, like, the whole game plan. And this game plan is, is you know, playing a lot of go-hards, drawing a lot of cards, finding more go-hards, leveling up Twisted Fate, and, you know, being able to play, like, pack your bags and have a wide board after you pack your bags to attack your opponent for a bunch of damage. So let's get to it. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Let's see how we do here with Kindred's Fate. Oh, I'm sorry, Violet. I didn't see that. Oh. Well, we'll play it as is. Violet, the person that donated for the deck just said that, that we could edit if we wanted to, but that's fine. We'll just play it as is. Okay, so we got a few champions over there. I think this deck that our opponent's playing is probably going to be pretty awesome. And I want to keep both Twisted Fates. So we assume that, that Zoe is going to be the champion that they're playing two of. Like how they have five champions here, so they can have two of one of them. It's probably Zoe. Blade is smart. You know, like, round one Zoe is the best Zoe to, you ha to have. So just, like, you know, play round one Zoe, but then, you know, you can just have all your other champions, right? You want your round three Ezreal. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is ideal. Alright, so they didn't cast the fleeting mystic shot, so I would waste uh, so I'd waste spell mana. But the thing is I don't really think that they should have done that because I didn't really waste very much mana. I only wasted what one mana? Yeah, just like one mana, so it's not like I really did. Twisted Fate's going to die to Mystic Shant, but it kills Zoe. Wow. This is what we call curving out perfectly with your champions, Harvey. Alright, so they got Fearsome. Could be a pretty big fearsome. Tough. 
Mm. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Really hoping they don't have thermogenic beam. They don't just have like removal for both of my champions. I'll just let this happen. Scout, great. Yeah. Alright, finally found a Gohard. Do we have like vengeance in the stack at all or anything? Challenger? Some scout challenger with tough, and of course, augment. Sure, and here's where I'd paint my constellation. That's so. That's so bad. They just discarded their Pursuit of Perfection, their Pursuit of Perfection deck. And they discarded Pursuit of Perfection. That's not cool. Oh, come on, really? Both Ledros gone? Oh, man. This has really worked out for our opponent. Just round one Zoe, round three Ezreal, round four Victor. And then removal for our champions. Yeah, this is just working out perfectly. Both Ledros gone? I don't know how I'm killing this Victor in this deck. I don't think we can. We have a Ruination. Okay, we do have a Ruination. This is like the dream matchup, though, for a you know for somebody playing Victor, is opponent that can't ever kill your Victor. Finally, our second go hard. That card just doesn't matter. At least go hard's the things that matter. Alright, so they didn't kill my 4 1, so at least I, I do have a blocker for the victor. See that coming. 
there's not many possibilities for their deck to be any better than what that was right there. Okay. Mulligan at all. Maybe. What are we playing against? Jinx? Jinx is cool. Alright, we're gonna keep Fading Icon, and... We'll keep you, and... You know what? We'll keep you, too. Okay, we'll keep the two mana cards. Yep, I used to, sir. After today, I have uh, certainly felt that I wish Kindred was a 5-5. Five five. That's kind of that's been my takeaway from today. 4-4 four four with 5 mana is too small. It needs to be like a 4 mana 4-4 four four or a 5 mana 5-5 five five or a 5 mana 4-5. It needs that fifth point of health. <laughs> yeah, even if he had a zero stat line, he'd be better. See what we see, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily hate 1 5. Of course I'm ready. If I kill you, I don't fuck you. Ruination. Payday? I guess. That's that's what I want to do these days. I do like that card back, like that Riven Art. That Riven Art and card back is pretty sweet. And we can jam out on their board. We change their songs? Ah, they won't let us change their songs. Oh, they changed the song. Ha! <laughs> that was because of what we did. without me. Artist gonna make a meal of them. Um, I mean, I just want to put, I just want to put the Gohar back into the deck. I'll just pass. I kind of want to play it, though. You know, right? Like, get two additional copies. I don't even think 5-5 five, five would be too much. But yeah, 4-5 or 3-5 would definitely make it more playable than 4-4. Four, four. But I don't even think that 5-5 five, five would be too much. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe 5-5 five, five would be too much. As is having it die. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Having it just completely die to Screeching Dragon is a is a big problem for a five mana champion. So you'd assume Boom Crew Rookie kills the Twisted Fate. Yeah, you could get rid of the quick attack with Kindred. If you like it would be better as a 5-5 with no quick attack than a 4-4 with quick attack. I don't know if they have quicksand. That'd be sad. Because it's all about like surviving and, and you're know, like this card just needs to stay in play for a while. But yeah, this this Merciless Hunter we have seen. The combination of yeah, Merciless Hunter, Black Spear. 
Big difference between the four and five, and then, you know, Screeching Dragon, like we talked about, there's a big difference between four and five health. All right, so they don't have the mana to play the Super Mega Death Rocket that they're about to get. <laughs> we should still just be, we should still be just fine. We're gonna use red card to blow up spell shield. I'm a people person. The desert by my side. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. That's really good. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Basically trying to try to turn on Black Spirit before like maybe they could empty their hand for Super Mega Death Rocket. Or like maybe they have multiple units in there. That seems odd, discarding, get excited. They probably have another Jinx in hand now that I think about it. How they just didn't play like that other card last round. That's gotta like what else would it have been except for the other Jinx that they don't want to like play another Jinx. So I, I bet this card is probably Jinx. See what we see, soldier. That would be my guess. Looks like trouble. I don't, sir. Sir HC, I do not. Level up, Kindred. Now, new level of Kindred gets a new mark. Chomp. Okay. This is looking good. Still think this card was Jinx. They, I just don't know what else it would be that they're just not playing. I don't know why they didn't play it there. It was Jinx. They must have really expected another Black Spear to not play it. Okay. Kindred's Fate with the win. In the car. GG's. Okay, we haven't seen this deck in a little while. Um, let's see if our Gohards can do stuff. Go hard. No Gohards. Go hard. Yuck. Yeah, that's that's a good good call there. So he says the miss on Kindred's design is that is that he's not played in the main uh, Slade deck, and I guess that makes sense, right? Like if there's like that. Um... A game. Go on then. You know, like the Thresh Nasus deck, that's all about slaying and everything like that. I don't, that deck should probably have Kindred in it over Thresh, right? Now, now obviously, like Thresh is definitely better for the deck. I'm not, you know, but. Kindred should be designed in such a way that you that you would rather have Kindred in the deck than Thresh. So that's probably like where it is missing, right? Like I don't know exactly what that means that Kindred should look like, but Yeah, maybe if Kindred was a 3-6 also, maybe. Something the matter. 
So I played the Pool Shark on round one. You don't always want to, but I just figured that Go Hard was so important to find that I was willing to throw it out there on round one and probably burn the top card of my deck. We got lucky. It was a Jagged Butcher. I figured I was probably burning the top card of my deck because I needed to find... Um, need to find Go Hard. I don't think that's an issue with Nasus design, because Nasus also cares about Slay. And wants, you know, wants a lot of things with Slay. Like, what if, what if Kindred was a 3-6 just like Thresh? I'm a people person. Yeah, we really need to go hard earlier for this uh, sparring student. Like round one. Why can't we have go hard? I don't change fate, but I can see it. Show them no weakness. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. What's that you got there? Not a matchup for Ledros. But yeah, that makes sense how you're saying that it's because Nasus is too good and you, you just want, you need to find, you need to have more Nasus, you want to find Nasus. And so that's why you're playing uh, Thresh to help you find Nasus, that makes sense. I actually probably should have blocked with Twisted Fate so I can play a new Twisted Fate. I don't know. We're at five. Car for turn is six. Salvage is eight. Yeah, I don't really have I don't have the ability to. Hard to get rich. Lady luck is smiling. I could give you silk, but I must give you steel. Stay by my side. I cannot ask for more. Say your farewells. Six mana. Kind of need more mana than that. You poor thing. So obviously I have to kill Green Glade Duo, otherwise Green Glade Duo kills me. Would have been nice to be able to Black Spear. You know, would have been nice to have one more mana and, and be able to Black Spear. Um, now, if I, you know, whenever I do Black Spear, you know, like I Black Spear the Aurelia, they just Blade Surge and switch, but you know, would have killed at least something like the Blossoming Blade. We couldn't find a single go hard, even though I'm mulliganed to all four cards. 
All right, hopefully we can find Gohard this time. You know, hopefully they have Sparring Student and Green Glade Duo and we have Gohard. And what else am I supposed to do? I'm mulliganing everything. <laughs> these Ledros. Gosh, these Ledros are unplayable for this matchup. I'm sure they're good in other matchups, but man, it looks unplayable. Cause yeah, we even went pool shark round one also. We play in build rules, son. Just to look for it. Our like today, we're probably gonna be burning a twisted fate right here, the round before I can play it. Give us some room. Croak if you work, burn if you don't! Man, we have had some good luck today. That card looks pretty epic to me. I dance not to forget, but to remember. Pretty epic. Our opponents keep having great hands, though. It's good for them. It's good for them. Feast. Yeah, like Vile Feast, Withering Whale type cards. Could be useful. But then again, there's a lot of matchups where you don't really need those cards. This is a decent Glimpse Beyond matchup. And salvage, but our deck usually has our deck can usually find enough card advantage. Need some pressure. Yeah, it's kind of the tough part about the metagame, right? Like you'll have those matchups where you know you would love to have Vile Feast or Withering Whale, but then you'll play against you know, but then like. The other Shadow Isles, you know, the, the other, or like, we had the two other Kindred decks that had like five total Withering Whales, and they were just really bad in all ten games, because I didn't play against a really a zero single time. Then you, you know, then sometimes you do, it's, it's tough. They don't need riches. Okay, so I'm going to be sitting back with the 3-1 because of their like four threes and three twos, like, you know, like we, we want to try to sit back there. I definitely recommend taking out Petty Officer. Moving forward. Just kind of talking through some, some cards that are really underperforming. Petty Officer can't block, you know, against Blade Dances, and I've just been dying very easily in all these games. And puts an 0-1 into play with it. <laughs> it's, it's a three-mana fading icon. So I could play the other pick, 
Petty Officer to get another Powder Keg and then do this for three damage, but then they would definitely kill the Powder Kegs, right? So... <clears throat> Just be enabling that. So we've burned two go hard so far. So there's two left in the deck. The lab was a ton of fun yesterday. Yeah, we had I had a lot of fun playing the lab yesterday. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Spray fan. That was the important part of spray then. Help does enable Black Spear, kill us Ezreal. Alright, might as well go with this Ledros. Let's just see what's up. We haven't played Ledros yet. Nah, legendary wasn't too hard. We we got we we sped we did the speed run pretty quickly through it. We got our first power to be the best power to have with Fizz each time. Um, but yeah, we had some we had some crazy runs. It is up on YouTube. I did like the the part one is up on YouTube. The part two is going to be going up right after the stream. So they get a six cost follower. Go hard. Ooh, J Madarda is awesome. They get to target J Madarda with spinning axe and stuff and Oh no. Alright, well it looks like playing the Ledros killed me. <laughs> I guess that's why Ledros just shouldn't even be in this deck, because you like you just make the mistake by playing the Ledros, because it's in your deck. And yeah, I guess that that just kind of kills me. The Eleven. It's not much. All right, gonna keep digging. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Definitely need to kill that before they start making these ignitions. Kill us even more. Uh -oh. 
now. I don't have a move for that. Gonna need to find another go hard. Alright, what let me I need to look at the deck list. I, I don't know what I can find. Um I guess we have more black spears still. Well, I mean, I mess this game up by playing Ledros, right? Like, if I don't play Ledros, and I just continue playing, like, you know, multiple spells and everything, we have a lot better chance. But I just, I open myself up to the, the Farron play, and, and uh, yeah, that was a, a, you know, that round nine. You know, I, I spent all my mana on Ledros. They they spent, they got to play Captain Farron and Tribeam and Probulator, kill my Ledros, plus put a six drop into play. Got open attack, we, you know, with the Farron and six drop, you know, like that was, uh, that was nice. GG's. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so not the best. Uh, result here with our Kindred Day. Um, I'm sorry about that, everybody. I wish I would have done better today. Um, I, I, you know, I want to put together um, good competitive deck lists for these um, champion spotlights. I should have played some more aggressive Kindred lists. That Kindred, the Kindred Draven looked very good with the aggressive list there. We got pretty unfortunate with our, our two losses in some aggro mirrors that were real close. But, um, you know, I, that's what I should have done. I, I shouldn't have played three slow control decks all together with Kindred. That that was kind of too much. And and that's where Kindred's been struggling is with these slow control decks. It's just, you know, because then when you play in a slow control deck, then the quick attack doesn't matter. It's small. It's a small body for the five mana. Um, yeah, it's it kind of feels like this maybe needs to be a more aggressive uh, card to make that quick attack matter. And so Kindred Renekton is another deck that I have as a donation deck. Um, I wish I would have played that today instead of like the Lux deck. Um, but that's that's what I should have done is I should I should have done with more aggressive Kindred decks because the the uh, aggro decks are just doing pretty well these days. Go Hard itself was good. We really, really struggled finding Go Hard. You know, there's supposed to be a lot of card draw in this and you're supposed to be able to play Go Hards, but yeah, that we really struggled finding this. Like both times against aggro, no go hards in the opener. Mulligan all four cards, no go hards, and then you know play a bunch of rounds and no go hards. I think maybe like having like Sprayfin be able to tutor go hard and get getting rid of like these other spells would maybe be better. Maybe you know adding in some vile feasts to go along with go hard. I don't know. We just couldn't. Our deck was a little clunky. It was. Too much expensive stuff that just kind of spins the wheels and doesn't really slow down the opponent and doesn't stop powerful stuff from the opponent. That's that's what our deck was. And that was kind of just the definition of today. <laughs> it's kind of what all of our um, all of our control decks, right? Like it's you gotta have your, your cards line up with control decks, and our cards were not lining up today. That's for sure. Alright, but that's it for Kindred's Fate. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you got other ideas for Kindred decks, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. And I'll see you for the next video.